What are we making today anyway? I don't even know. <laughs> Lois doesn't know what we're making today because he didn't think we were making anything. <laughs> no. Anyway, I decided that for breakfast this morning, actually it's more closer to brunch, um, but we're going to be doing a French crepe. Ooh. And filling them with Ooh. banana, Nutella, and strawberries. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit like a dessert brunch. And you can make this for dessert too. But I wanted to try my hand at making some crepes just because we have a lot of places here in Greenville, but we just never think to go there yeah, really. um, to, to eat crepes. So I just figured why not make them for ourselves. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to get started if you're ready to get started. Oh. Always. <laughs> All right, we only have a few little basic ingredients here, so it's probably stuff that you already have at home. Um, so you can whip these together one morning, one evening, in no time. The only thing that I need my assistant to do right now is to get me the blender. Got it? Yes. All right. Boss. <laughs> ninja. Ooh. Let's get out our ninja. Plug it in, and then I'm I'm not even gonna mix this in a bowl. I'm gonna put everything in the blender. All right, so it's basically you should have all of these ingredients already in your pantry. Um, so you can just whip this together in the morning or you know in the evening for a little snack. It's perfect. You should have everything already that you need. So we have the ninja. We're gonna put everything in here. There's gonna be no real mess to be made. I mean, you'll have to wash the blender. That's about it. Um, if you don't have a blender, you can, of course, mix this in a bowl. Just kind of whisk it together okay. until it's really, really smooth. I'm going to put my one cup of milk right in there. And one cup of flour. We're going to do two eggs. and a teaspoon of sugar. All right, and then we have one tablespoon of melted butter, right in there. And we have one teaspoon of vanilla. And we have a pinch of salt. So if you just want to get a little bit of salt, I would just do like one turn on the thing. All right. Oh, that's, that's <coughs> enough. <laughs> All right. And then everything's in my blender, and we're just going to blend this up. There you go. Mm -hmm. Get to work. Blended this for what less than a minute? Yeah, less than a minute. Is that okay? Yeah, it looks good. It's gonna be really, really thin, um, and you should have all those chunks kind of out of there. All right, so I've got my batter. It's really, really thin, and I'm just gonna pour it into this measuring cup um, just to get it out of the blender. <laughs> I can't look. And get it out at the same time, <laughs> and it goes everywhere. <laughs> Oops! But well, we made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Let me clean that up here. Let me just clean that up. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. We're good. Okay. So your batter. Set it aside and your batter is going to rest at room temperature for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, we'll be back. All right, and after 30 minutes, our batter has rested and set at room temperature and we are ready to just go ahead and cook that. But before we do, I'm just gonna cut up some strawberries. Um, so I think I decided that I wanna make a strawberry banana Nutella one. And then I wanna do a banana um, cinnamon sugar with a little bit of a honey drizzle on the top for some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we are going to make our famous lattes in our Bialetti <laughs> little percolator. Um, so we'll show you how to make the perfect latte as well. 
All right, so let me get ahead and cut these strawberries. Lewis is going to show us how to make the coffee. I will. Yeah. Is it? Same trusty knife. This is the one I love the most. Just wash these. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to cut these kind of into slices. So you want them to kind of be slices like this because they're going to go nicely in your crate. Now, funny things don't happen on every episode, everyone. Okay? I really hope you can understand that. Sometimes we just film the film. Okay? I mean, we're not trying to be... Comedians. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a cooking show. Okay? <laughs> you learn how to cook things you normally wouldn't make. Fun fact, we did not eat breakfast yet, and it is 12 o'clock, and we did all our grocery shopping already, so we're good to go, but we didn't eat breakfast specifically because we wanted to film this, but Louis didn't know that we were filming this, so he thought we were just going to eat right away, and now we're waiting 30 minutes for this and that and everything else. <laughs> Hungry. All right, I'm gonna wait to cut my bananas just because they will start to go brown, but I'm gonna start to get my pan ready. All right, so I'm gonna get a big pan here, and then I'm gonna put butter in the bottom. Butter, not pan. Yes, we are using butter for this one, so Bliss is quite happy. All right, so I'm just gonna butter my pan, make sure it's, there's a lot in there. Just make sure it's really coated, and you have a nice, buttered, non-stick pan surface. Because the butter is what's going to make it golden and brown. All right. Now, I am going to let my pan heat up a little bit more. And we're going to use a fourth of a cup for each crepe that we make. It's my first time making this. I don't know if the crepes are going to come out. <laughs> we hope. All right, I'm going to put my crepe batter in, and then we're just going to kind of whisk this around. Oops, I guess that wasn't the what you should do. Okay, <laughs> crepe number one, <laughs> fail. <laughs> Take a picture of the fail. Let's try again. Let's try this again. Okay, it says on the recipe to whisk it around. I think, I don't know what that means. Oh, I know what it is. You know how they make the, the, the crepe? Uh, the crepe is like you do, you do uh, that. Like what? what so like, do? for example, with this, oh, okay. you would just do it like oh, this okay. and, and okay. spread it. Okay. All right, take two, crepes. Ooh, go, Louis, go. Go, Louis, go. All right, I mean, that looks pretty good. The first one. The first one never comes out. We need, we need two of these, we need double. So we, he gets uh, more surface. So a half cup? Yeah. All right, Lewis is gonna attempt to make a crepe. Cause I'm, I'm apparently not doing it right. Satisfied with what you made? I think so. Okay. Just let it cook now a minute. Good job. Oh my god. <coughs> okay. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Now that's going to be too high. Your butter's going to burn. Flip it again. Flip it again. God, I'm nervous. <laughs> That looks so good! Look at that! I can take a picture. 
All right, Lewis knows how to make crepes. Who would have known? <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect crepe coming right up. Yes, look at that. Next. Okay, gotta work fast. Ooh Yes. Yes, now work fast. So we call this a mocha, and basically it's made of uh, three parts. You have the top, where the coffee is going to come to, and then you have a, uh, a filter here that we never remove, we never take this off. But we do take this one off, and then the bottom part where you put the water. Um, so basically you're going to fill up the water just up until um, just below this mark, you can see it from the inside. Put the water and then we're going to put the coffee in here. So. so I prefer this compared to like a Keurig machine because the Keurig machine I just feel like it gets dirty inside, the lines. I know you can clean it, but I just feel like it's never fully clean. This one you can just wash in your sink and it's fully clean. Every part of this is clean. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're not wasting, um, you know, the plastic in all those little pods. Yeah. I realize the pods are convenient, but to be honest, this doesn't take any longer than the heating, the curry, water, and everything else. Like, just take the time, make good coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Always like to smell it. It smells so good. So, this is ground coffee, and I'm just going to put it in here. Well, if you guys are interested, you can... Uh, Watch a video I made on my other channel uh, called Lagarto, which is just my nickname in Brazil. Um, so I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description below so you can check it out if you want. Okay, so this is done here. Are we good there? Um, I think you can flip it if you want. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to close. So close it here and make sure it's tight. And then just put it to boil. So, so we out. usually put it on high because it, it, you know, it makes it faster. But because we're kind of doing the crepes and we want it to be done at the same time, we'll put it kind of like on medium high um, there. All right, flip that crepe. Perfect. All right, I'm just going to cut my banana a while. So our crepes are almost done. Good chopping skills there. All right, our second one is done. Looks good. All right. So our coffee is still boiling, but while that is still boiling, we are gonna assemble our crepes. So I'm gonna make first, let's do the strawberry banana. Okay. Um, so this one's a little bit more cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Nutella. All right, I'm gonna spread some Delicious Nutella on here. Wow, that looks so good. All over. This is our non-healthy crepe, and that one could be our healthier one. <laughs> All right, and then some strawberries. So pretty. And bananas. Perfect. All right, that one's done. And then the next one, I said that we're going to do... Um, a little bit of honey. I'm going to drizzle that inside. Or should I put the banana first? Yeah. I think the banana first. Banana first. Let's do some banana. A lot of banana in this one because that's the main ingredient here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of honey drizzle inside. We'll put a little bit more on the outside too. Perfect. And then let's do some cinnamon sugar 
Wow, yummy! Oops, that was a lot. <laughs> All right, those look good, don't they? Yes. So our coffee is coming up in our mocha, and I'm just gonna let it go a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna pull it off the heat. Make sure all the water comes up out of it. Okay, there we go. Set that aside. Mm -hmm. So here in the Bergato household, we love to make you lattes in the morning. So if you've stayed with us, you've had one of our famous lattes. Um, so we like to always use, when we're here, we always like to use our little Moomin cups, our Moomi cups from Mary, from <laughs> Finland. These are the cutest. I love them. They're the perfect size for a latte, too. So, um... We have those. Now, I like to have a little, you can use a metal container to froth your milk, but my mom got me this one and it seems to be working perfectly because it's such a small size and, you know, when you froth your milk, it's just like a small enough space that it's getting really frothy in there. So, I don't like to use too big of a Thing to froth my milk in it's just not going to circulate right and not mm -hmm. going to get that foam mm -hmm. so I always use this little one you'll have to see what works for you <laughs> and then of course you need one of these milk frothers battery operated type thing okay and then of course um, we use two percent milk if you use whole milk you'll get even more froth skim milk is probably not a good idea um, if you want the foam on top so I'm going to put about half milk in each cup and then a little bit of milk in my other container and then i'll just put these in the microwave for about one and a one and a, one half, and a half, half minutes i like my lattes to be pretty hot all right our milk is done now I'm just going to go ahead and froth the milk that's in the small container. All right, and you'll see your foam is forming. And then I like to just let it sit for a minute. And then we'll pour our espresso into our milk. Perfect. Save a little bit for our top design. <laughs> <laughs> Abstract design. Yes. Well, one time Lewis made a thing that looked like a penis on top. <laughs> I have a picture of that one. <laughs> and then I usually just take a spoon, and you can see the foam is just thick foam, and I just pour it right, I put it right on top, and I'll eventually pour out the rest. So I kind of like to do both of them evenly here. Perfect. Um, would you like to do this, the design today? Sure. All right, we do a little abstract design on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh. All right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so on this episode of Crazy Delicious Cooking, we make crepes and cafe lattes perfect for a Sunday brunch. We filled our crepes with some delicious fruit, Nutella spread, cinnamon, sugar, and honey. And we are ready to eat because I have not had my coffee yet this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on another episode of Crazy Delicious Cooking. See ya. See ya. Ha <laughs> ha